Thinking about a move to Texas, considering Dallas? Why choose Dallas over some of your other options? We'll get into one of the biggest reasons right now. Hey folks, Todd Tremonti here, and as always, we're giving you the best information we can on moving to or within the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And today we're focusing on one of the absolute top best reasons to make a move specifically to Dallas or surrounding areas would apply. And that's the fact that we have two solid, well-regarded airports. On the west side of things, we've got DFW Airport, Airport, Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. Massive, huge hub for American Airlines and a, a, a kind of a centrally located, uh, well-run, uh, who knows how many thousands of flights they process and all that kind of stuff, but uh, international terminal and beyond. So. Uh, a, a really highly regarded airport. If you travel much, some of the larger airports really can be uh, quite a quagmire uh, of, of delays and issues, but DFW run really, really well. So that's on the west side, just south of kind of the Grapevine area, really in between Dallas and Fort Worth. So on the west side of Dallas, not terribly far, uh, but on the edge, on, on the west side of Dallas, east side of Fort Worth. Now on the east side of Dallas, kind of you know, almost in town Dallas, uh, not terribly far from downtown at all, you've got Love Field and people identify with Love Field as a major hub for Southwest Airlines, kind of home for Southwest Airlines. Now, um, two very different feels in, in these two airports. Love is a much smaller airport, very easy to get in and out. You can park right at the terminal. It's a, it's a simple, simpler, place to travel to and from. If you're on the east side of the Metroplex, it's it's a little bit you know easier in and out. Plus, it's obviously much closer. Uh, the DFW side of things, Dallas-Fort Worth is a, I mean, it's bigger than most cities. Uh, and I'd say in Texas, probably in the world. It's a large landmass with lots of terminals and tons of flights coming in and out. Even some of the parking areas there are bigger than some airports, but it is well run. And it is generally, for an extremely large airport, easy to get in and out of and find your way around. It's not nearly as confusing as many others that I've been uh, to in, in Atlanta and New York City and Chicago and places like that. Um, super, super low, but both airports very low as far as delays and shutdowns. In the wintertime, you get a little bit of issue with ice from time to time, sometimes high winds, but those are about it. Um, uh, so very, both of them really well run you know, relatively easy in and out. Uh, and it provides a lot of options, you know. So if you're living in Dallas, North Dallas, um, you know, Plano, Richardson, Wiley, Sexy, Murphy, Las Colinas, you know, some of those areas, um, and it goes on, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. They're both good options. Now, um, there are more flight options and more carriers and more flights, period, out of DFW, simply because it's a much larger airport. But specifically, if you're flying Southwest or Alaskan, uh, and, and, and a handful of others, uh, Love Field uh, personally is my preference simply because it's smaller, quicker, easier to get in and out of. Um, but both are really well run. A lot of construction and redevelopment and sort of upgrades have happened at both airports recently. Seems like both of them are constantly growing, um, but sort of maintaining their scale, meaning DFW is massive and, and Love is uh, much smaller relative to DFW. But, I've been to other good sized cities where their main airport is still not as well run or nice or even as large as Love Field. So two really, really great options, um, two very different you know, areas. Love is surrounded by residential in that North Dallas, kind of inner ring North Dallas area and DFW is, you know, owns a tremendous amount of land and is a huge uh, presence in between Dallas-Fort Worth. Um, DFW is much more accessible to the west and northwest, of course, and then Love is, is much more accessible kind of to that inner ring in town area. You do have to cut through some residential streets to get to Love from at least two sides, uh, and DFW is right off main highways. Uh, so those are a couple things to consider, but if you're thinking about making a move to the area from outside of Texas or from outside of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, that's some really valuable information if you're traveling for work or traveling uh, for vacation or pleasure or whatever the case may be, you do have options that you don't have in most cities. You know, quick comparison to Houston, where you've got intercont you know Bush Intercontinental Airport on the northeast part of town, and then you have Hobby kind of far southeast part of town. Or, you know, 
really far from each other, to be honest, in two completely different scenarios. Both of them kind of operate similarly, meaning smaller one with smaller carriers, bigger one with tons more options. But DFW gives you a little bit more geographic spread, more options, and uh, it's a really big advantage to living in the area to be able to travel with, with that level of ease and have that kind of options. If you're coming into an event, you really have the option of which airport you fly into because it's maybe closer to where you're traveling to or getting a ride to or um, potentially being able to walk. So a couple of things to think about when you're thinking about a move to the Dallas area, two airports, huge advantage. Hopefully this has been valuable for you. If it has, like the video, share the video, make sure you subscribe, click the little bell, we'll let you know when we make more. But also make sure you pay attention to our other series and other playlists right here on the channel where we've done hundreds of videos on moving to specific communities within the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex as well as some reasons to move there and maybe some reasons not to potentially. So check those out. Uh, comment below. We read every single comment. As long as it's not inappropriate, we'll communicate with you down there. And of course, if we could help you buy, sell, or invest in the area, we'd, we'd be honored to earn your business that way. But if not, tune in. Keep checking it out. We'd be happy to be a resource to you. And I will talk to you on the next one. Take care.